In this video, I have two fragrances. You can see they look the same. This is the Narciso Rodriguez um, range of perfumes or fragrances. This happens to be the Eau de Toilette version, funny enough. Um, on the left, this is the one, this is what my wife has been wearing. And for many years, she's had this. And we bought this one on the right, and something doesn't seem right. This fragrance, the smell is a bit off. Okay, so I'm going to compare these two. Possibly one is fake or it's been left in the sun and it's gone fraught. Whatever the issue, I'm going to analyze it and just show you my findings. All right, so here we go. Okay, so first things first, um, which do I think is the original? Well, the one on the left, I'm pretty certain is the original. The smell uh, has the, uh, the correct aroma and also it stays on the skin for very long. So I'm quite certain the one on the left is correct. Now, just having a look at these two boxes. First thing you'll notice is they are very similar. The only thing I can uh, criticize by the box on the right is that the Narcisco Rodriguez uh, name seems to be a little bit off center. It seems to be a, a tiny bit skew. If you look at it, you will see that, um, I don't know if it's coming through on the camera, it's very minor. It's just a tiny bit skew and I'll actually measure it. Right, so that's on the left hand side. And now when I go to the right hand side, you can see uh, basically a millimeter or two off. You see, look at that side. Um, I'm inside of the end well on this side it looks like the paper was fed a little bit skew so that's like a millimeter I did pick that up with my eye now looking at the uh, what I think is the original um, you can see there and when I go to the end you can see there it cuts through exactly at the same point right then just looking at the fonts the fonts are very close except for the one on the right if you look closely if you look closely, uh, the one on the right, it, it's just like the the printing isn't as high quality. Uh, look at the gap between the word her and Rodriguez, whereas look at the one on the left, uh, the gap between her and Rodriguez, uh, it looks more consistent. It seems to be that this is going slightly skew. All right, so looking at the next thing, uh, the text at the bottom, pretty similar. It would be quite hard to know which is real or fake just by looking at that text. Looking at the bottom of the package. Yes, uh, the one on the left has been used for a while. So um, obviously when you buy it new, it's not going to be all these scuffs and dirt on it. But just looking at the writing and what it shows here, um, apart from where the placement of these little icons are, uh, these are pretty similar. I wouldn't be able to know fake from real. I mean, they could have just done a different production run. Here at the back, there is a considerable amount of difference. If you look at the, firstly, the icons of the bottles are slightly different. And look, there is, it says there, eau de toilette, natural spray, whereas here it says it at the bottom. And then there is some difference in the writing here. The one is wider than the other, and also the addresses are different on the left and on the right. All right, so this is pretty similar. Um, it's quite hard to know this off the bat. I mean, if you were in a store, I mean, would you know Narciso's Rodriguez's address offhand? I mean, this is 2832, while this is 56 uh, forward slash A. Uh, I don't think people memorize those things. Um, there is a slight difference in the two pinks here. The one has got a, a bit of a darker pink than the other. Um, other than that, again, I don't think, you know, that could also uh, change via the age of the box. Um, but more telling signs I'll show you shortly. Right, looking at the inner packaging, um, again, very similar. Quite difference in the shade of the uh, the cardboard here. Uh, the one is a bit more, the one has got a bit of a greeny overlay while the other one is black. But let's weigh them. Okay, so this one I think is the original, weighs uh, 10.73 grams. And this one here, uh, 12.43 right so we we see there's a difference this is a few grams heavier and just having a look at the packaging this one over here which I don't think is the original 16.6 uh, .6 grams while this one over here uh, you can see oh very close 16.9 or 17 grams so pretty much the same be hard to to definitively say one is fake and one is not just from such a small margin all right now this part here is where I think it's much easier to tell real from fake. Now the first thing is just having a look at this. Um, look at the black outline in the glass. This one I'm pretty certain is an original. Uh, if you look at the outline, you can see there 
and can you see it does like an indentation it's almost like convex and then it's quite uh it's quite consistent in this distance okay there it does seem to go out a bit um but just looking at the bottom you can see that it does definitely have a convex a shape there and even on the packaging it also shows that convex shape there and even on the other packaging shows that convex shape there while this one which i suspect is not real um you can see that look at that that's just kind of it looks like the mold is not as accurate and also look at that gap there uh, whereas look at that um there is a difference there if you look at that shape and then look at the sides you can see the sides where the black is colored uh, is also different you see the one on the right has a narrow narrower almost like the bezel narrower uh, strip here while this one here is actually much wider now I'm not going to weigh these because the one is full and the one is not full so what I'm going to do now I'm just going to analyze the gloss All right, I'm just going to clean it with some rubbing alcohol Right, what I want to show you is, can you see the one on the left? That's the one I think is, is the real one. Um, if you look at it, it's very glossy. It's almost like, yeah, you know, like in the old days, you used to get photos printed. Well, that's like very glossy. Look at that, uh, that uh, shine on it. And it's through and through, especially if you look here on the sides, um, that gloss all the way. And it's very smooth to the touch. Also there, very, very smooth sorry i mean you can see that that is totally smooth What? Right. looking at the bottle on the right you can see that it is not it's got a bit of a matte finish this is kind of like in the old days we used to print photos you used they used to say do you want matte or gloss can you see that it's got like a, a rough finish um and just in terms of that uh printing it looks pretty uh resilient i mean it's not coming off so i'm not arguing about their printing quality but if you look at this this finish is totally different to this finish and this is where it gets quite easy to tell what i think real from fake is i mean look at the side here um you can see that uh almost like dapples uh so this does not look the same i would say these are made in two different factories i mean look at the difference there you see look at that Okay, so there's an obvious difference. Now, why that is a problem is because when you buy perfumes, they're usually sealed. You can't tell. And here is the easiest place to tell is in the manufacturer of the glass bottle. While the exterior packaging may be very similar, it's the interior where we're going to see the differences. Now we've got the lids. Let's weigh these lids. Right, this is very stiff. You can see there's a ridge there and that holds the lid on. This one, unfortunately, is already damaged. I think somebody was a bit rough, so I can't tell. Uh, but also, it's also got that ridge. But looking at that ridge, you can already see a difference, and I'll show you close up. Okay, if you look closely, first thing you can see is the spray is white, while that spray is black. Look at the uh, size here. Look at that ridge, uh, quite narrow, while that one is quite fat. So there's definitely a difference here, whether they buy getting these from another factory who are making them, or uh, they're making them in, internally. Uh, these come from different dyes. And uh, I can just measure them for you. All right, so the width there, Okay, just measure it quickly, uh, 17.0302, 05, so 17, and the one which I think is uh, not an original, that is 16.956, oh, there we go, 16.86. Just measuring the nozzle, 12.7. Thirteen, totally different as you can see and then just looking at the height if you look at the height of those nozzles they are definitely different look at this one on the right whereas look at this one on the left again different looking at the um the ridge here the one on the left is narrow and quite defined whereas the one on the right is quite clumsy i'll, I'll show you a close-up have a look at that ridge there. That is what I was talking about by clumsy. Fastening onto the glass uh, neck here is not as well done. You can see it almost flaring out. While here, using a better machine, you can see that that is more consistent. And look at that uh, that ridge. That ridge is, is more defined, but smaller. All right, just looking at the necks of these two. Now, this one is what I consider the original, and this one I consider suspicious. Now, if you look at the necks, you can see that this one is the tolerance, between, the gap between the uh, spray and nozzle and the glass is very minor. I mean, you couldn't even put your nail in there. While this one on the right, if you look there, there is actually a gap. 
um, I can actually get my nail in there. Look at that. My nail is now in there, look, going around. So the tolerance is not very good. While the one on th this one, it's sealed. I can't get my nail in there. Right, now since I have both lids, um, there's no substance in them. I'm just going to weigh the first one. The mass of that is 36.36. While the second one, uh, it did break, but this is the only piece that came off there. So I'll just put that like that. Um, let's put that in there and you can see that is 24.56 that is a fundamental difference and just looking at these two uh, you can see the quality of the material the one on the right okay let me put it in the correct uh, format the one on the left is what I, I consider the real and the one on the right is what I consider the suspicious one looking inside there you can see the different material the way it came out of the mold so I can already say with a lot of confidence that the one on the right came out of a different factory. Look inside there. Can you see the way the mold, uh, the, the way the mold is different to the one on the left? Look at that. Much better, much better uh, manufacture. Uh, I can also see there's a slight size difference. So I'm going to just quickly show you that. It's very minor. Um, if I look at that, that is 54.34. And if I look at this... 53.7 uh, there's no way this came out off the same production line look at these tolerances this is th there's too much deviation here uh, looking at the side view 23.74 and this one 24 0.12. No, there's definitely a difference here. Look, you could just carry on finding imperfections. I mean, if you look at the the uh, just the thickness of the material is also different, and just the quality. You can see there's the line there. There's a line there, or part of the mold. While well, look at this one. Um, if you have a look at it, it's it's actually in the opposite direction. So, I don't know how that would happen. See there. Look at that. And if you look closely. You can see imperfection almost bubbles look at that see if you look at the one on the left look at that it is completely smooth well look at this one which is i've considered the suspicious one look at that uh, imperfect manufacture can you see the angle this is almost got like a bit of a ridge and look at those dots I'll try to bring it there can you see there one two three Right, what I'm going to do now is a bit of a spray test. This is the original, and I'm just going to, it's, it's kind of finished, so I'm just trying to get a little bit here. Well, and the one on the right, uh, there we go. And smelling the two of these, there's definitely a difference. Okay, so looking at the paper test, and I sprayed quite a lot on the right, while on the left, I don't know if you recall, I could barely any was in the uh, container. Now look at the difference in terms of what is left over here. The one on the right is just like a wet page has dried. It just uh, kind of deformed the page. Whereas the one on the left, can you see it's almost like it left an oily stain. It's like cooking oil or something is here. And that's showing me that these, you know, the constituents of the uh, fragrances are different. That's already telling me that these could not be from the same manufacturer. The next thing is this has no smell now. While this still has a fragrance when you smell it. Now I've got a light shining on it yet to try and show you. But um, it's not coming through on the camera that well. But there is a lot of spatter. Like I can actually see the individual little dots where the uh, nozzle sprayed uh, have left all little oil stains or whatever it is that is now stained this page. Whereas on the right hand side it doesn't have that at all. It just looks like a wet page which is now dried. Okay, just having a look at the top of the bottle, just looking at the curve there, the way the glass is, uh, you know, changes direction. And that's very well, you know, that's very neatly done. Whereas if you look at this one, it's a bit harsh. That angle uh, is definitely from a different dye. Look at that. That is almost beveled. And look at that along the spine there, while this is not. This is totally rounded. These are two different manufacturers. And just looking at the crease lines, uh, look at that. And um, if you look at this one, uh, there's the seam over there. But still, even though the seam is there, it's still pretty smooth and uh, 
refined while this over here looks a bit rough you can see all those like uh, indentations so definitely lower grade on the right hand side now something that i believe is important is the little um, sticker or uh, sandblasting or whatever it is on the bottom now if you look at the left this is what I think is the original you can barely read it but anyway there is a serial number there and some other information if you look on the right a very good attempt by the way because that is not a sticker that's almost like engraved in there but what I'm interested in is look at the difference in the glass formation the one on the left versus the one on the right these are completely different look at that look at the way the glass is look at this one it's actually pretty flat it does have a bit of an in a bit of a crevice in there it's a little bit uh, down towards the middle looking at a bit of a side profile but it's got a little indentation there um, but it's not uh, very noticeable while if you look at this one you can see that it's it's there's actually a lip there I mean I can actually catch my nail there this one is totally different and it's actually quite rough I feel it it's rough to touch all right so let's close this off the one on the left I consider the original the one on the right I consider made in a different factory according to different standards so in my opinion this would not be uh, the people who manufacture this would be quite a, upset if uh, the uh, factory also manufactured this just in terms of a technical standard the glass is different the the lid I mean the lid is different the uh, nozzle is different there's a different color uh, the 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 printing is slightly different in terms of the color the finish of the glass is different the layout of the paintwork inside here is also different so the way it was molded so overall these are definitely two different manufacturers okay so in conclusion what do i think well proof is in the pudding when you spray the one on the left it's got that distinct smell which stays on the person's skin for hours and hours and hours this one uh, the smell is definitely different but it is close however after about an hour and a half the smell is no longer there so there's a definitely a difference in the smell which forces me to think that this is not a correct version okay so i hope that was helpful and i hope you're able to discern between real and bad production thanks for watching cheers